guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i figured i would share with you guys some more of my gratis items if you guys watched my sephora haul slash gratis video i told you guys i had too much to just put into that one video so i am going to be sharing with you guys i guess part two of my gratis um i am going to have one more gratis video and that's pretty much going to be all of my gratis that i have to share with you guys I didn't want to put it all in this one because it would be extremely too long. So I am going to have one more gratis video and that will pretty much be all of my gratis items that I have to share with you guys. So if you guys want to see some more of my gratis items and of course, let's get started. Alright, so starting off, I have a mixture of skincare and of course makeup products in front of me. So I guess I'll do skincare first. First product is going to be by Dior. It is the Dream Skin Advance. Um, here is what the products look like. I honestly don't have any of Dior products in my skin collection only because it's a high-end brand and I typically shop drugstore in terms of like my skincare products. So I was so excited to get this product to try out because I do want to try more like high-end brands. So can I to see how well the product performs and just kind of see how my skin is going to react to it. I don't really see people talking about this product too much, so I'm not sure, you know, how it's going to work for me, but I did get this in gratis. And I think the packaging is really cute, and you also get a pump as well, so that is my first gratis item. Next one is going to be by Lancome. It is their Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate, and here is, again, the packaging for this one. It is meant for all skin types, and I think, again, packaging is really nice. I kind of feel like when you go more, like, high end the packaging is always really like luxurious looking which I would hope because skincare products in terms of like at Sephora is quite expensive so again I did get this product out and I would definitely keep you guys posted as far as how well that product works for me next skincare product is going to be by Algenis. it is the genius liquid collagen um, we did get the full size for this which I was very excited about because sometimes with skincare products some brands give you more of like a sample size, almost like this. And then of course you get some brands that give you a more full size product, which I do appreciate. As you guys can see, the Lancome and Dior was a full size product. So we also got another full size product. Um, this product, I don't see myself honestly using this product too much because I don't really need collagen in my like I don't need collagen right now in my skincare routine not saying I'm opposed to it or I'm not going to use it but I just kind of feel like it's more of like one of those like preventative type of products that you want to use while you're still young but I feel like this product is more so like for more mature skin so I am going to use it because I have it but I don't see myself like reaching for that product all the time but I did get it as well in gratis. Um, next product by Algenis is going to be the Advanced Retinol Serum. I don't typically use retinol products in my skincare routine. I tend to stay away from like retinol kind of products. It is a vegan product which is really good for like your skin because you guys know you do want to have really good healthy ingredients in your like skincare products. So it is a vegan product, but again, I don't really use retinol products for my skincare routine. They kind of scare me, but I am willing to give it a try because I did get it. So yeah, next skincare product is going to be by Volition. It is the Snow Mushroom Water Serum. Um, Here is what this one looks like. It's really tiny, but I could definitely see this one lasting me for a while because with skincare products, a little bit goes a long way. And it is a water kind of... It is a water type serum, so I am very excited for it. It is for all skin types, and I'm hoping because it is a, it's a water-based serum, my skin is going to like it because I do have dry skin, so fingers crossed for me, and we shall see how well it works out. And then my last skincare product is going to be by Origins. It is the Mega Mushroom Relief and Resilient Soothing Treatment Lotion that was a mouthful um we also got a small sample size of this product as well i haven't used any products from origins um so it's going to be my first product from them hopefully i like it and it smells kind of weird but hopefully i like it though <laughs> All right, next, moving on into like my makeup products. I have like a lot of foundations in front of me because we had our foundation animation, which meant that we pretty much got like a bunch of foundations to try out so we can talk about it and sell it to clients. 
I am missing, I want to say two foundations because it didn't come in for me. I think, um, I'm assuming at the warehouse they're probably out of the colors that I needed. So I didn't get two of the foundations, which is fine. Um, so I'll just show with you guys what I do have in front of me. The first one is going to be by Urban Decay. It is the Naked Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Foundation. Here is what the packaging looks like. This product has been out for God knows how long. I typically don't shop Urban Decay for my foundations because their shade range isn't the best. And even when trying to like pick my shade for this particular foundation, there wasn't truly a color for me. So shade 9.75 was honestly the closest one that they had to my skin tone. I think the issue that I had when swatching it was it was more like on the warm side, almost too warm where it was kind of like looking kind of orange. But again, it was a free foundation, so I was kind of like, you know what, it is what it is. Just pick it up and just try to make it work. So I did get shade 9.75, and again, it's the Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Foundation, and it's by Urban Decay, and again, it's the Naked Foundation, so I did get that one in my gratis. Next product is going to be by Makeup Forever. It is the Matte Velvet Skin. Um, this one, I got it in the shade Y505. This is a mattifying foundation. You guys know I have dry skin. Some mattifying foundations I don't mind as long as it's not too matte. If it's extremely matte, then of course I'm not going to like it because I don't want to look very like dull and like skin have no kind of like glow to it. So I'm going to use a very like moisturizing primer and just kind of see how it works. I think the color should work, but I'm not sure because we had to choose the color off of the computer because we didn't have the actual foundation in store yet. So the color may work or it may not work, but again, we shall see. So again, I did get this one. It's the color Y505. Next product is going to be by Clinique. I did feature this in a makeup tutorial and I do have it on my face today and I do like the product a lot thus far. It's more of like a medium to full coverage, so you definitely have to build it up. It's not the most full coverage foundation out there, but again, it is a medium to full coverage. So again, you have to build it up. Again, it's the Clinique Even Better Foundation and it's supposed to even and correct your skin, which I definitely think it did. I love the way my skin looked. I think it's really pretty and I love the way the foundation just sits on it. It looks like a natural finish. I have mine in a color called Ginger number 12. Here is the packaging for it and it is my first like Clinique product. So I must say I'm quite impressed and I do want to try some more products from them. So you guys should definitely check it out if you like more of like a natural look to like your foundation. Definitely check it out. Alright, next product is going to be... I had another product that I'm missing. Next product is going to be by Beauty Blender. They did give us a sample size of their foundation which is the... Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. We had to pick this off of the computer again and I honestly got a shade that was too dark for me. Once we got the foundation in store, I just like swatched it and I was like, damn, I got the wrong color. The color I got is 4.40 and the color that I need is 3.75. So this is going to be too dark for me, but I am going to give it to my friend to see if she wants it because I don't want it to go to waste. But it is a nice sample size. Like this could honestly last me for like quite a bit, but it's too dark. Um, I haven't tried it yet because again, it's quite dark and you guys know their shade range is not the best. It pretty much like jumps. So there's no way for me to kind of like work with it. So if you're in my skin tone, I would definitely check out 3.75. It's the color you need. Um, but I do have 4.40. So we did get this in gratis. And then the next product is going to be two concealers. Um, the first one is going to be by NARS. It is the Radiant Creamy Concealer in the color called Walnut. I already have this in my collection. I have the color called Caramel. But I wanted to get Walnut to kind of like highlight under my eyes. And I cannot wait to see how it looks under my eyes. I do like the concealer a lot. It's not my favorite in my collection, but I do like it. So here is what Walnut look like. And I think it'll be really good to just kind of like brighten up under my eyes. Um, next one is going to be by Tarte is the Creaseless Concealer, which I have on my face today. I did tell you guys in the video that I filmed that I was going to try it out, which I'm still trying the product out. Um, so far, I like it because it's very hydrated under the eyes. If you have oily skin, I don't think you're going to like it because it's almost kind of like wet looking under the eyes. So you may or may not like it. If you use a mattifying uh, loose setting powder, it will help to mattify under your eyes so it's not so like wet. 
um but if you have dry skin i think you might like it so i will keep you guys posted in like a favorites video to see what i think so far i like it but i'll keep you guys posted all right moving on we are almost done um next product is going to be by lancome it is the fix it forget it makeup setting spray i haven't tried any of their like setting sprays or like makeup products besides the lip products that i got in gratis um and i haven't heard anyone talk about it so i'm not sure if it really works in terms of like setting your makeup i will try it and keep you guys posted on it you guys know i love the urban decay all matter it's pretty much like holy grail status for me so i will try this out and of course again let you guys know how it works but so far i don't know no one even no one even talks about it so maybe no one likes it i don't know all right next product is going to be by the sephora collection it is the pro slanted buffing brush number 88 um i do have it closed off still so i apologize but this product is pretty much good to like blend out your foundation it makes it look so airbrushed and like flawless on the skin so it's pretty much like a foundation brush um i will use it on camera one day so you guys can see how it works and how well it blends out the foundation so you guys can see it in action and you guys can decide from there if you want to buy it or not i haven't tried it but i have seen like the makeup artists use it on clients and it looks really good so we did get a chance to try it ourselves in gratis and again it's a number 88 it is the pro slanted buffing brush all right moving on to some more foundations um next one is going to be by benefit is the hello happy soft blur foundation which looks like this i did not pick out my color for this i think someone picked it out for me and they gave me number 10 but the packaging looks really dark and to be honest the shade range for that foundation is not good at all either so i don't think it's going to work i haven't swatched it yet or tried it to see if it is or if it isn't but i know the packaging sometimes can be deceiving but looking at the packaging by itself is quite dark so i'm not sure i would put this on camera so you guys can see it, you know like in person but i'm not sure because it's quite dark so we'll see so i did get this and no one really talked about it either so i don't think people was really feeling that foundation all right next foundation is going to be by mark jacobs it is the shameless foundation i have it in y480 um again so i picked this color out for me i didn't pick out the color myself i'm not sure if it's going to work but i will keep you guys posted to see if it does or if it doesn't and then next product is going to be by lancome it is the long time no shine translucent powder i haven't heard anyone talk about it you do get quite a bit of product in here is actually a lot of products and it looks finally milled to me so i don't know i don't really care for like too many mattifying powders i don't mind some if it's not too mattifying and if it doesn't make my under eyes look dry i don't mind it but if it's too mattifying i don't really care for it and i'm not sure if it's going to give flashback or not so we can definitely put this on camera and then i have one last product to show you guys it's going to be by beauty blender it is some beauty blenders um, they did give us the pink one and they also gave us the teal one which is this one right here and then they also gave us the beauty blender solid to use to clean our beauty blenders and i have oh i have one more product i lied last product last product is going to be by lancome it is a dual finish powder foundation in the color called 460 suede and here is what it looks like it is a warm tone powder it almost looks too warm um i haven't played with it yet but yeah this one is 460 suede and i get it's a warm undertone and i pretty much have like enough foundations and powders to do another video that's a full face first impressions if you want to see it let me know and let me know which foundation you guys want to see me use on camera and i can definitely make it happen and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video again i will film my last gratis haul part three very soon hope you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye guys